Final step, we need to add our balusters to the stairs, which is the vertical supports between the railings. And we're going to use this component to create our assembly. So first we add a new assembly and we can call this balusters. Next, we're going to add a new component and add this component from our model. Let's also build the assembly so we have a preview. Now, obviously we want this to be a little bit closer to each other. So we're going to change this to two inches. And while you're following these steps, make sure your axis is in the middle of the component. And that's pretty much all that we need. So now that we have this assembly, we're going to use it as a sub assembly for our stairs. We're back into our assembly and we'll go into spam. And we're going to change this to sub assembly. And we'll select the assembly we created earlier as our model. And once you add it, you can see that it works exactly as it should. You can see from the preview how our assembly looks like, but I'm going to select it here and make an update and we get that right away. So this looks pretty good.